Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how you can make some paper templates for your pencil case project or any applique project that you have in mind. So today we're going to make some paper templates for our pencil case project. We've been looking at the work of Mondrian for our inspiration on the pencil case project but we've also looked at the work of Lichtenstein as well. So the way that we make templates for both of these sides is slightly different so I'm going to take you through that process step by step today. So just to give you an idea of what templates are for, templates can be used for any sort of textiles project not just applique projects. So they can be used for book cover projects. I've got a video on that to show you how to make a book cover template. They can be used to make skirt templates, any sort of fashion templates. They call them pattern pieces in the fashion industry. You could use them for a pencil case project like we're doing here, um, or you could use them for anything where you need to make the same shape consistent, consistently. So here are some photographs of the design plans for the badges next to the final project with the badges attached. The templates we make today are the intermediate stage between those two points. We need to make the templates so that our final piece accurately represents our original design plan. To start with you're going to need your tracing paper. You can use a baking sheet, tissue paper or any thin see-through paper if you don't have tracing paper though. We're going to do the Mondrian badge first, but keep watching for the Lichtenstein badge as the techniques we'll use for both of these badges are slightly different due to the way that the two badges are layered. Trace all the lines that you see. So now that you've traced out your boxes you need to make sure that you know which colour each one's going to be because you're going to cut them up separately in a few minutes time so make sure that you mark them with the letter or just write the word so that you know which colour of felt each template is for. Now we're going to move to Lichtenstein. This is slightly different to the first one because you need to separate out all of the different shapes. I'm placing my tracing paper onto the design and you can see I'm rotating the tracing paper around because I'm trying to be as economical as possible with that small piece of tracing paper. I can fit all of those shapes onto that piece of paper but I'm going to need to rotate the piece of paper and work out how to do it before I do. It takes me a few minutes but I get there. Trace all the shapes. And here you can see I've rotated the J after the P just to show that you don't have to have the letters next to each other as you would with writing. You don't need to trace your embroidery detail either, only trace the felt shapes that you're going to need. Now it's time to cut your templates! One eternity later. Yay! First, cut out only the largest rectangle for the Mondrian piece. You should use this for your first template by placing it onto the fabric and drawing around it. Then 
Then cut your fabric really carefully. Now you've got your big background piece, you can cut out the smaller pieces for the Mondrian badge. Remove the colour of the background piece, in my case that's the blue pieces. Do the same as before, place your templates onto the correct colour of fabric, draw around them and then cut them out. Do the same as before. Then arrange your pieces together to match your design plan. For the Lichtenstein badge, do the same as before. Cut out your tracing paper, cut out your fabric and put your pieces of fabric back together. And there you have it, you've created your own paper template pieces to use to cut out your fabric pieces and make your badges. Well done!